Um, hello again, again. again. YouTube. Yes. Uh, this is the second time we're here. Episode two. Hopefully not the last. No. But no. I mean, way better this we time. Don't know. We're gonna try a little harder. Yes. The first one was it was just a test the, run. Was the kind of bring you guys in. It you was know? a test run. Um. But, uh, yeah, so today we kind of changed it up a little bit. We have a uh, couple movie reviews for you. He saw Captain America. This guy watched Insidious, so uh, we kind of have a theater, DVD, you know, equal going right now. Review. Um, other than that, I think, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what comes up. What we think. So, uh... I don't know who wants to who wants to start you off. Should, you, you should start first with Captain America. With Captain America. Captain okay, America. So came Captain out today. America came out yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, but uh, I went and saw it this morning uh, for a small group. Uh, saw it real early, so no problems. Just, you know, getting into the theater because our theater, our local theater, is a little bit. <laughs> It's got an IMAX. It's big. It's, it's just not it's a big it's a big theater, but I mean it's just gets crowded sometimes, I guess. Anyway, he saw Captain but America. But so Captain America. Um, yeah, so we got in there and uh, Captain America, man, I was really stoked. I was like looking forward to this. It's rolling up to the Avengers. Right. You know, it's like everything so far. Marvel Studios, thumbs up. Uh, you guys are really you're just knocking them out of the park, pretty much. And at least in my eyes. But, uh, yeah, Captain America, man, you know, Chris Evans, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Stanley Tucci, Hugo Weaving, I mean, great cast. Red Skull. You gotta love Hugo Weaving as the Red Skull. That looks really good. I want to see him as Red Skull. But, uh, yeah, it's solid. It's a great popcorn movie, you know, it's action-packed, it definitely, I mean, it, it, the, the beginning, I'd say first 45, you know, you're meeting Cap, you know, everything gets rolling, you know. The uh, CGI Captain America. I don't know if you were worried about it. Making him from little to big. The way he would just look. Right, right, know? right. It's like, it doesn't look bad at all. It's it's totally believable. It rolls off. It, I mean, they pull it off very well. I mean, uh, a, a couple times his head looks a little big, but it's like just a, for a moment, you know? Right. It's like, but come on. It's like, but the effect, it comes off really well. They did really cool. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. You know? a lot of re- good, good reviews. It's got a lot of positive feedback, so I'm sure you guys are probably hearing this everywhere. But uh, definitely go see it, you know? And it's like, it's a comic book movie that doesn't take itself serious. It's like, it, it's good. It's good, don't get me wrong. But it's like, um, it reminded me of like Tim Burton's Batman okay. with Michael Keaton. Okay. Where it's like, there's, there's not a lot of explanation to things. It's like, it's just, he's Batman, and okay. he's in Gotham, and he's busting heads, you know? It's like, he's doing his biz. And and you're like, okay, you're just supposed to kind of roll along with it. and uh, But they do it really well in this, you know? Uh, the beginning, I mean, Chris Evans knocks it out of the park. Steve Rogers, hands down. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the Avengers. Avengers. And you get the trailer yeah. after the credits. Stay after the credits. Right. Please, Stay. It's like a minute and a half long, and yeah, I yeah, I was it was like yes, this is what I'm talking about. You know, it's quick. Everyone together. But it's like yeah, you get to see everyone together. Aside from Hulk, you're not gonna get to see Hulk. Uh, but I mean, come on, Hulk, that's a big deal. I see what Hulk I mean, looks going like from really Edward good. Norton, you know, in the last one in the he Incredible really Hulk, uh, to Mark Ruffalo now for the Avengers. It's like, you know, we got to we got to wait and see. Yeah. But uh I'm I'm looking forward to that because everything else so far it's been good. Right. It's been good. So Joss Whedon too. Joss Whedon, man. He's good. Right He's in good. directing? Come on. If you haven't seen Firefly? Go watch it. You should Netflix Firefly. Please. It's a great show. And uh Serenity? Serenity? It's a great movie. You can awesome get movie. That. Watch Firefly first. Watch yes. Watch the all of Firefly, really and then the movie, it literally is, like, Joss Whedon's, like, just his finale to the to the series. Definitely, definitely. It's like the fans cried out for, you know, when the show got canceled, unfortunately, after one season, uh, but uh, the fans cried out, and he eventually got to make the finale and the movie that he always wanted to, and it is. It's so good. So, uh, the Avengers, Captain America, go see it. Definitely. Spend your money in the theater. I didn't see it 3D, so I can't say it for 3D, but uh, go see it. Go see it. 3D. We will talk about that.
3D, I know, right? It's kind of like, come on, 3D. I don't know. Everyone wants to do it now. Everyone wants to do it. It's just, it's tacky. Yeah. It's really tacky now. It just, it's, it, it's, why? It's just, everything has to have it. I understand some kids' movies. Because, I mean, I will admit, the CG and animated stuff in 3D, most of the time, comes off really well. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wow. You know, you're kind of mesmerized sometimes. But everything live action, every 3D movie that ever had 3D put on it after production. Terrible. And Terrible. after the movie was filmed. Don't. Just don't even. If you're going to see something in 3D, go see something that was filmed in 3D. Because at least then, it's like, you, you'll get the full effect. Avatar. Avatar yeah, has been really the only really good thing much, you know, that's been in 3D. The depth in that movie, like just how really good. you feel like you can see into the screen, is great. And, uh, and Transformers is supposed to be really good in 3D. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Transformers in 3D. But that's, but, uh, that's it. That could be cool. The rest, just no. Pretty much, don't. It's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it. Yeah. It's going to make your eyes bleed eventually. I think it's just going to keep getting popular, though. 3D? They have the 3DS know. now? You have the handheld 3D the 3DS, system? 3DS, Nintendo 3DS, yeah. No glasses necessary. So it's like... That could that could change it. You have 3D you know, TVs now in your houses? Lo- yeah, that's kind of crazy when you hear about people having 3D TVs in their house. That's too much. Because what are you paying? A buck, a buck 50, you know, for a pair of glasses? Oh, the glasses are heck of expensive. You know, so Ridiculous. like a hundred fifty, and say you have a typical family four. That's like six hundred bucks. What if everyone's sitting in front of the TV at the $600. same time? Six hundred dollars. You know, so yeah. I think that's kind of crazy. I that's think a lot it's of money. Crazy. It's a lot of money. Yeah. So I saw Insidious. Yes, man. I want to hear Insidious. about this. Okay, this movie. I have, I have yet to see this, so this is as much as a review for me as uh, it is for all of you guys. Okay. So it's a uh, it's your it's your horror movie. It's got a uh, Luke Wilson from uh, Watchmen, and Hard Candy. If you haven't seen Hard Candy, go see Hard, Hard Candy. Candy man. is awesome. Ellen Page. Ellen Page and Luke Wilson. Dude. There's like four people in the entire movie, and it's a it, great movie though. You're will, just like on the edge of your seat. It's disturbing. That too. It's it's intense. Yeah. Um, but uh, he's he's the father. Uh, Rose. Uh, the buying from uh, 20, yeah, 28, 28, like 28 that. weeks like later? Buying, you know, whatever. 28 weeks later? Yeah. Uh, and uh, Damages, right, okay. on FX. Okay. She's on there with Glenn Close. Uh, she's the wife. And uh, the little boy, you know, it's basically, he, you know, gets haunted. It's not the house that's haunted, per se. It's him. So they move to a different house and things still happen. Um, okay. First half of the movie is pretty solid, right? You have your typical jump out moments and things like that. Okay. It's good. Second half of the movie just goes downhill. <laughs> once once you watch this and uh, like literally it's like a scene out of the Ghostbusters where these these men show up and it just goes downhill from there. Really? Once they oh, show that's up. That's kind of discouraging. And uh has a big, uh, big, uh, oh moment at the very end that's just terrible. It's terrible. It makes no sense, which is why it's a big wow moment, because yeah, you're like, yeah. that makes no sense. Okay. Um, and it's just, it's, it's not good. I'd watch it on cable. Really? What it would wasn't. you, like, what would you compare it to, like, because uh, isn't it supposed to be from, like, the producers of, uh, Oh, everything's from a producer of this guy, a friend of this guy, some, you know, this guy's yeah. girlfriend's brother. But, uh, but, uh, what would you, what would you say, like, it's, it's does like it kind of stack uh, up to anything recently? Which, in my opinion, horror movies, all horror movies are bad nowadays, now. like, after, what, 88? I don't know when, you they know, just got bad. They just got really bad. It's like, why are you guys doing this? Whatever happened to horror movies and, like, some, you know, I mean, anything. You know? I know what you did last summer and Stop Scream calling ruined them thrillers. everything. Stop calling everything. Them thrillers. Once Scream came out and it was like, oh, it's from a horror director, yeah. Wes Craven, who back in his day was great. Yeah. But now, no, he makes these, these teenager fluff films that are PG-13 so oh, that your six-year-old oh, sister can go see it with you. Dude. And... That's what that's what gets me is PG thirteen everything like just the rating board, it, 
I mean, come on. I've seen... I don't even know. I don't even, It's like, it's just, it's just, it's, it's like, come on. Why can't, I mean, we're all adults, you know? It's like, understand, just adults see rated R movies. And there's a lot of adults there in the are. world. You so they don't have to worry about ticket sales. We're still going to go see the movie. They already make a reduced amount Shit. of money from kids. Kids will still go see the movie. I, I saw plenty of rated R movies when I shouldn't have been. And I paid for them. So it's like, whatever. PG-13. My first Four rated movies. R movie was Menace to Society. Nice. Right? That's okay, that's, that's a pretty hardcore movie if you have not seen that. That's a pretty hardcore movie to go see as your first rated R movie. And I was yeah. a man. I paid for it. That's... And uh, kids go see them no matter what. Yeah. I think the first, I think the first one that I kind of remember was Heat in theaters. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's long, too. Uh, yeah, I was young, and I was, like, kind of nodding off towards that third hour. But, uh, <laughs> that was great. It was a really good movie. It was great. Um, but, uh, back to Insidious, I don't know, it's just not... That's not kind your... of a bummer. That's kind of a bummer. It's, I mean, I don't know. The, some of the previews looked a little different. They looked a little, like, different. They try, than, like, they try. Uh, but it's just, you know... By the time it ends, you're just, you're just, you're confused... And you, you just don't care anymore. You really don't. It's like, I don't care if the boy lives or dies anymore. It's one of those, you know, you just I just want it to end. And it's maybe an hour, 45, something like that. It's not a long movie. But it's just, Man. no. Not not good. Um, I'd watch it on cable. And uh, if you went and saw it, just don't go see horror movies anymore. Yeah, Never you, you a good horror movie. the wrong anymore. horror movies. What you do. I can't even think. But it's okay. Off the top of my head, what the last really good horror movie? The paranormal activities ones I like. You know they're very. I like the first one. I like the, the first, first one. one is, is good. I like the second one it's a lot. It's like uh, it's it doesn't stack up to to like like what I would consider a horror movie, right? You know, or anything like even along the lines like ghosts and and like stuff like that. I mean, but it's good. It's good. It has you jumping. Yeah. You know, so it's like especially if you saw it in theaters, man. That would have been intense. You'd be scared. Okay? That would have been very intense. I don't care who you are, you would have been scared. So, you know, it's like I give it that. I really give it that. The first one, at least. But, uh... And then, uh... The Comic-Con came. Yeah, still here. Comic-Con. Still rolling. So we haven't forgot about it. Uh, not a know. lot of... Not a lot of good news. I mean, yeah, there's been some kind of off and on cool stuff. I mean, what happened yesterday? The Walking Dead trailer... The Walking Dead trailer. If anyone is uh, not reading The Walking Dead and or sure. have watched season one, it's only six episodes, so do it. Like twenty dollars to buy this, Come this on, season. You know, but on DVD. Uh, yeah, if you're not reading it not. as well, it's a PS3 comic book owners. written by Robert Kirkman, uh, art by Charlie Adler. Adler, Adler. and uh, yeah, it's like, man, it's great. Really it's good. Really good, especially the first six issues. I'm a, a, the the artist Tony Moore. Uh, look for him if you are a fan of art because he just does some of the most detailed, just panels. Man, I love his stuff. It's so really and good. he did he did the first six issues of The Walking Dead and it really gets you in, and then uh, after that it's all gritty and the story it's just is like, so good. It's a wonderful wonderful story. It's not a, it's not as much about you know the 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 zombies. You know, and more of like a natural is. disaster. Just people trying to survive with and each yeah, other. And yeah, it's just like how you react and how you adapt to that world and that situation, you know, with the people around you as well. And it's just, it's like it gets so deep like that and you get attached to everyone. Anyone and everyone who comes into the group, you get kind of attached to. So like when they go down or something happens, man, you you're like, you you're, really you're just going through it. those, you're just feeling those pain, you know, it's like... You can't wait. The volume, a month to the get volume the next with issue. the with the prison, was by far some of the just yeah. most intense moments. They do some really good stuff ever you on know. in comic books. Hopefully, the show. Hopefully, you know the trailer like we were talking about. It's uh, a four minute trailer that they released cool. you for know, the con. It's like it's kind of getting you ready. It's like uh, for the fans of the book, you're kind of like maybe a little worried because it's looking still a lot of like. The but the final, issues, the final shot you know. has them going to Herschel's farm. So, yeah, but you get to see Herschel's farm um, for, you know, the people who know 